What's up, guys? This is a behind-the-scenes look at the rest of those questions from the DISC method, where we revolve around axes other than X and Y. Um, I just wanted to continue to show what's going on here to kind of show what I'm thinking through, getting towards um, those expectations. So I'm drawing out to the graph. The graph is Y equals the square root of X plus 2. And the key trick behind these questions is to shift the graph to an axis. So in this case, I need to shift it two spaces to the right. And if you remember what we did back in Algebra 1, you have to subtract from the x for a, a movement that goes to the right. So that's what's happening right here. Um, ultimately, that means in, we're talking about a function that uh, is square root of y equals x. A little bit of math magic, solve for x, because don't forget, you have to have a function um, that's being rotated vertically must be written as a function of y. And uh, then it's just a simple volume is based on type formula. Mathematically, boom, answer is... 242 pi over 5. Probably want to pause the video right here and try to catch that. On to a new question. Question 3 for me of this task. Uh, this time I'm not rotating around a vertical line, I'm rotating around a horizontal line. And rotating around a horizontal line means that I need to keep the function a function of x, but I need to shift the function up to the x-axis. So for me, since the line is right now currently being rotated on the line y equals negative 1, I need to shift uh, the whole graph up to um, be rotating around the x-axis. So really, I'm shifting around the line y equals x squared. Revolutions around a horizontal axis mean we need to integrate a function of x. So volume is base times height, pi r squared. Pi is a constant. We can take it out of the integral, and we're integrating from 0 to 2. Of x squared, r is squared. So x squared must also be squared. x squared squared. Math magic! 32 pi over 5. Should probably pause the video right here and just get that. Oh, I didn't even need to do that. It is one of the uh, check your answers before you just dive into the question. Last item for me is um, now I have a line of rotation that is above an axis and a positive. The other two were negatives, and this is kind of backwards thinking, kind of tough to see. But ultimately, I am trying to still bring that line of rotation down to an x-axis, and so I'm. Uh, subtracting 4 from the x, from the, the function, and I wind up with um, pi r squared still, but this time my r is relevant to the x-axis, being everything is shifted down four spaces. Math magic! And the answer is 256 pi over 15. Once again, pause the video. Full disclosure, I'm not really doing anything fancy. I am going to Wolfram Alpha uh, slash Desmos, slash Calculator, slash other resources in those math magic moments. But I'll leave that to you to, to decide. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for doing some math with me. Um, don't forget to uh, like the video and uh, check out, you know, be on the lookout. Check my channel for other videos that are going to help you out. Um, yeah, that's all. Thanks. Bye.